Good morning. This is not self-indulgence because I don't do self-indulgence. I have genuinely been asked for an update on Mr. Wibbly Wobbly. I'm going to have to stop because people people coming past. <laughs> right, I've, I've been asked to give an update on what I refer to as Mr. Wibbly Wobbly, but it's actually Parkinson's disease. Um, I have mentioned it before. It's not going to win, although it's making a good job of it at the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll stop. I'll start from, well there's been a lot happened I think since I last did an update. I changed GPs a few months ago, went for the worst, most awful practice you could possibly imagine to a fantastic uh, gentleman, I'll name him Dr Patel, he is wonderful, he's, he's the only, it's only a small practice in, in the village, uh, but he's, he's a true gentleman. Now, I, because my previous GP had been saying that I was depressed and wanted counselling <laughs> as I'm bouncing around in his surgery, uh, I paid privately for a consultation to see a neurologist. And he, he immediately diagnosed, well, he immediately diagnosed Parkinson's disease, but he then refined it to tremulous Parkinson's disease which means that it won't respond to medication and I've tried three different types of medication uh, I'll, I'll, I'll cover that the first two didn't didn't achieve anything the third one my GP had never heard of it and didn't know how to pronounce it and I'm not blaming him because he's, he's a general practitioner he's, he's not an expert um, but that also didn't help the tremor. Uh, but it did have some nasty side effects. Me and Tom were out in the car. Fortunately, he was driving. And we were three miles away from home, and I suddenly said, where are we? You've taken a wrong turn, and you need to go back. I don't know where we are. I've never been here before in my life. Hang on. Oh, it's a micro light. Oh, what? Does them? Oh, we've got a nasty swan here. Does anybody know what them things are called? Do? They're like micro lights with engines on your back. Because three of them came over here last night, and I want one. So if anybody can tell me where I can get one, I'm not bothered about training. You know, have a crash, have a crash. Anyway, um, I had no idea where we were, which was a bit alarming. And then when I got home, I read the side effects of this medication and it said one of the side effects is in the over 60s, it causes memory loss and confusion. I think that pretty much summed up what, I was, what was happening to me. So they went in the bin as well. Uh, so I'm currently on no medication. There's a boat coming past, so I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm medication free at the moment. My, my GP did honestly admit, he said, I'm a bit out of my depth with you because he's not a specialist in neurology, which I fully understand. Um, something else, the recent development was something that's usually associated with diabetics, which is peripheral neuropathy. And I've lost sensation in in both of my feet. Not not the entire foot yet. Oh, and I've got a big bruise on my foot that we've got no idea where it came from. Um, and my GP doesn't know if that's related to the Parkinson's or if it's something else. So that's another mystery. Go away. There's a nasty swan here. I would I threatened to turn it into a feather duster last night. <laughs> Because it really is a vicious bugger. Um, I transferred from my private 
neurologist. He transferred me to the NHS because he, he wants to do treatment, but as with everything, once you get into the NHS, it's like a bottomless pit. Um, to be fair, I got transferred on the Tuesday because he, he, he wrote to my GP saying that he, he wanted to do some scans. Um, in anticipation of doing surgery. So the first scan was a DAT scan, that's where they inject radiation into you and then the, the x-ray you had and what they're looking for is where the dopamine is or certainly where the dopamine isn't because that's what causes Parkinson's. Not enough dopamine in the right places. So. I, I got transferred on the Tuesday and on the Thursday I had a phone call saying your neurologist has requested a DAT scan. Uh, we, we were, we'd got an appointment for the 20th of August but we've got a cancellation for tomorrow. How are you fixed? Well, yes, thank you. <laughs> so that was done, I don't know, four or five weeks ago. Um, that was followed up by an MRI scan, which is really, really difficult. It was the first time I've ever actually felt disabled because the, the, the staff there were wonderful. It was very difficult line for an... I mean, I don't know if anybody's ever had a, an MRI on the brain. It's not nice. It is not nice. It's the only way you can say it's not nice. And I was... The more stressed I get, the, the worse this tremor gets. And I was trying my best to keep it still, but I, I couldn't. And I was aware that that would be transferring through to the head and they might not get a clear image. But the worst part about it was when the... the, the, the I think she was a nurse. The one who, who, who led me all through the process said, can you just sign the consent form? And I said, no, because I can't hold the pen. And that was a bit difficult. So th those were done, I think the um, MRI was done about four weeks ago. I know that these things take a long time because the person who orders the scans and the person who does the scans is not the same person who interprets the scans because that's a very qualified job. And I rang the neurologist secretary before we came away. Um, and she said it can take between six and eight weeks to get the results. And I said, but we want to go away. Because we're living next door to Bob the Builder, which is driving me mad. That's another story completely. Um, but I didn't want to be worrying that there was going to be a letter sitting waiting for me when we came back. So she very kindly agreed to ring me when, when, uh, when there's any news. Because I know that the next stage is brain surgery. But I've, morning. But I've no idea what decade that will happen. I'm not bothered about it because I can't carry on like this. Um, so we're, we're out. We're out for a couple of weeks. But it, it's. I think the seventh is. 7th of September and it was blooming hot yesterday now one thing I do know is Parkinson's and extreme temperatures do not get on well together and we're nearly at the top of the Audlin flight, we found a mooring two, two locks we've done 13 of them and it nearly killed me yesterday because it really takes it out of me so we're, we're hoping to be out for a couple of weeks and then that might be the last proper Cruise that we're able to do because I I have to be careful. Tom, Tom has to do all the work on the locks because I'm I'm not safe from getting off the boat. <laughs> but anyway, if anybody's watched any, any of our other videos, I I think I I think Parkinson's has made my 
warped sense of humour, even more warped. But the day you see me going, woe is me, you'll, you'll know that something serious has happened. But anyway, I, I've had a, one, one person in particular, you know who you are, I'm not going to name you, ask for an update. So that's where we're at with Mr Wibbly Wobbly. I thank you.